One issue that came up last fall was the use uh, in HHS of uh, fetal tissue for research. And uh, I think that in December there's, there were articles that said that, uh, I guess it was the UCSF uh, grant was, uh, you know, had another 90 days to fund and a decision was going to be made on that. What, what, was, the, what was the decision? That um, well, a deadline was extended, and at the present time, the intramural programs, uh, three of them that require human fetal tissue research, uh, fetal tissue for, to do their research, uh, are linked up with that UCSF source, and, and uh, we have not required any slowdown in that effort. I don't, I don't. As you know, the Department of Health and Human Services is going through a detailed review of human fetal tissue research to see whether it is, in fact, living up to all of those very high standards that are expected. Right. I, I'm not sure I understand what... Uh, well, first of all, how long has the, uh, the deadline been extended to make the decision on that? I believe it's extended until June. And why, why, the exten why was the extension necessary? The review that the department is doing is not complete, and yet the department, and this uh, certainly reflects the view of the secretary, wanted the research in the meantime to be able to go forward, hence the extension until a decision gets made in the longer term. And the, uh, um, the, what you said, uh, the three studies going on at NIH were linked up to that source. I'm not sure what, what that means. Uh, meant that the UCSF uh, agreed that they could, in fact, meet the needs in terms of the fetal tissue that those three studies needed to go forward. For instance, a study on eye disease. Where are they deriving the tissue from? Where are they obtaining it? Um, I believe locally at UC San Francisco Medical Center. And is it true it's from uh, their study as, uh, from se uses tissue from 17 to 24-week fetuses? I don't know those details. I can get well, them for the record. You get that. That's what's been reported, so I'd appreciate uh, you get back to me that. But uh, in what, what centers are, are where, exactly where? I mean, uh, now, because what you're saying is that, that the studies here, and I take it when you mean NIH studies, you mean intramural studies. Yes. So, where, so exactly where, where is the tissue obtained? Um, I, as I understand it, it's obtained in San Francisco and then shipped to the intramural program at NIH. Where in San Francisco? I mean, we're buying tissue. We're cutting a check, I assume. Uh, do we just say we're sending it to you, money to UCSF? We let them figure out uh, where it's a from? This contract from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease. This is a new contract, is that um, right? It's been there for some time. But, but you said we linked up to that source. You imply that's recently since the ban... The, the ban on spending inter intramural monies. Um, I, we're still working through the logistics, but basically uh, this was an existing contract that was supplying tissue, if I'm correct, uh, to the Rocky Mountain Laboratory and was asked, therefore, to take on a couple of other uh, circumstances during the time of this HHS review. Well, I hope you can get back to me in more depth on that. Thank you very much. I yield back.